fly me to the moon. Step out of the shadows. The Alfred, man, come on. Tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your Oop. family legacy. Just take a drink. Well then. Oh yeah, he's like the mayor of Gotham. Yeah. So, what have we learned so far? We had to fight a Catwoman. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And he's the mayor. Like myself is not used I think. To such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. For too long, this city has burned the mayor? with corruption and greed I'm not too sure. under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally... Oh, it's like an election. This is together, what this is. We can stamp out the fire and save our great city. I'll behave. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, yeah, there's an election. that applause, he would... Sh well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. John Wine, welcome to Wayne Manor. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Oh, man, you're annoying me already. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Hmm, don't think you will, mate. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Okay, so I'm not running for know, Prime Minister or whatever is pre Gotham, president. I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brewery. Working on the night shift, angle. making an... So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone... I'd like to make an entrance. Alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. <laughs> You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> I okay, it's going too bad. He just wants me for my money, though. This shouldn't be painful. And my like. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Um. Your face specifically with a mouth that's saying. Your like thing. Dead. What you mean to Greece, people? They're the wheels. Hey, being someone I'm not, I'm doing this for Gotham. To help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Okay, so it's a it is a um election, but he's running for it. Put a diamond crown. I hope he's in Harvey. A new face for Gotham. For the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. Yeah. See, no. Yeah. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. No. Audi. Yeah, I know my cars. Actually, notice my mic. I'm sorry for that. There's a lot of people in there. Something's gonna go down. He's drinking out the bottle, so he's gonna be. Oz. Mr. Wayne, I'd like Oz. to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller. Hey, Bob. Of course, I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Well, Regina well. here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. Mm. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. No, After sound. All, whoever you support it's nice about Harvey. My name doesn't you. matter. And we can we all, we can all make a difference. And like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Yep. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. You best Old remember that. families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. 
No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the Golden Age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. <laughs> There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality. Hope don't can depends on the man. That's how you Hope can lie the dot. Yeah, like Batman things. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. All right, Charles. I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. I like this guy. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help. We're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas That's where the and Joker is. <laughs> what a Joker! Hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway—it was terrible. Yeah, family dead. It's tragedy local. like that at such a young age it must have been crippling if only that uh, whoops my bad man uh, we're here for Harvey not me maybe. that was a long time ago thanks for your sympathy well, I don't like to think about maybes and I'm sure you don't either well thank you I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too and thank you Bruce for investing in the health of this city's future you have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. <laughs> if we keep pressing the wrong button. Champagne. Well, hello. Uh, Harvey Dent. Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private. She Catwoman. Miss Vale, no reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Keep it off the record. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he's off the record. Have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. Quite a lot. This is quite the social event, Mr. Oh, Wayne. Come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? Something to me. You should enjoy your own party before all the Better champagne now, runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. We hear you. Tell you if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Uh oh. Yeah. It looks like. Cut myself shaving. You go. Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to. Yeah, they don't like guests to me. Who the that? Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's uh -oh. never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Okay, maybe he thinks he's a good guy. I had by looks him, but I don't think he is. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out. I don't want him there. Uh, this doesn't look good. I'm trusting. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Uh, let's trust him. I don't like this, Harv. But I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce. Play 
Nice. All right, calm down. I could beat him up. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the day nah, you can't afford it. My eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmine Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Oh, everybody's looking. You're a respectable man, I hear. Oh, stop. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. You'll keep everything full when it comes to him. Perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At hey, what's private audience? <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Bruce. Yeah, let him in. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for yeah, a few I want minutes. Him in. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Thank you. Seen and not heard. Whatever you. Ah, ah, what did I say? Man, I have some authority around there, I can tell you that. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law and there's doing what's right. Mm, you which you've apparently done. And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city I instead of just saying it. I say you can do both. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. <laughs> no one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Well... Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. It gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. Lovely. So, let's talk relationships. Chop this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can That's pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. You can take such a villain. Restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. Break. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Uh, I get along with everyone. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ well, he does. the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane. Before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. All right, easy. And which to break. Yeah. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Oh, yeah? Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Yep. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. Yeah. The banter. He's a prick, and he's gonna get what's coming to him. Can we kill him? I really want to kill him. Oh, Batman! Here we go, boys. I'm gassed.
So I, I hope in some way we kill this guy in the end. I don't like him. Kids screaming outside, like, can you not? Los Santos, GTA life. Go into the bat cave. Go into the bat cave. La 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 la. I think the purple just works. Episode 1. Realm of Shadows. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. With breaking and entering into tickets. She was really after him. Oh, he's, he's got it. He's about to say he did recover some stuff. Okay, let's uh, access that. Uh, Skyline Club owner, head of the Falcone crime family. Mm. Uh, Vicky Vale. Right. Um, processing center owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire. Are you Whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has done. What the hell? They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder. That's like a fruit of them. I'm so confused what's going on. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed. All right, let me. Tight All right, let's go to the main menu quickly. I hope there's. Not too much we're gonna miss. Quick cuts out, guys, and then we'll be back. Okay, guys, so we are back after some technical difficulties. But let's hope now, if we don't go through to the. Let's look at the data drive. Nearly fell off a building for this. Analyze the drive out the back computer. Uh. Ah, analyze the data drive. Oh yeah. I wish my chat did that. That's why that was so important. Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here <laughs> in a dark, damp cave. Those rooms don't matter. I like this cave. Oh, they don't matter. Yeah, well, this is the only room that really matters. Well, then you won't mind if I skip cleaning the rest. Sure. The dusting is murder. Did you find out what that um, cat woman? Tried to steal. Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. <laughs> I 
Okay, to rotate the hologram, use these. What am I looking at exactly? Uh, some buildings there. This is a map okay. of Eastside Shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Drugs. Everyone likes a bit of drugs. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, oh, Alfred is such a nice guy. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the. Go play this game. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the help. Much harder to remove. Always be thankful. Tuxedo. Yeah. Thanks for the interruption. And it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried you might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> for the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Yeah, I don't like him either, sir. So. when it still had one. It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. <laughs> I'll check the codex. Yeah, we just did. Okay, let's do it again. If this messes up, then it's not our fault. Found her. Is that? Not okay, it was. To find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. <laughs> You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. No man would step out and hide. I'll stay out of sight. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. <laughs> uh, whenever Harvey calls. That guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. Now, I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out. Trust me. Yeah, uh, that's why I don't trust. Injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights of the They can't put it together. To get here. You're in the spot city needs me. It go, it, you I have forgot to go. Your city needs me. I have a job to do. Okay, a I'm sorry, guys, you need that. Um, you know why I do this. Loma, but I I nothing right I can do. Oh, yes, you yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Business card from Harvey Brent. Let's take that. Park, 6 a.m. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. <laughs> Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Okay, he's changed a lot. Boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints. That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now? I... He needs money. He's not. I'll give him a chance. You know, for good friends before. He just wants to reconnect. Gotta give him a chance. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. That's but true as well. Directly, was it's got a good, good amount of knowledge, Alfred. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good... Come on, has Batman ever been cautious? I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Alright guys, I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here for now. We'll come back to it. Well, it'll be a lot quicker for you guys probably in like next day or something like that, but... 
probably actually the day after that but yeah guys you love if you're liking this you want to see more leave a like comment down below what you think about man and i'll see you in the next episode peace out everybody